On behalf of the Board of Directors and our staff at the East Boston Neighborhood Health Center, I'd like to introduce everyone to the new Winthrop Neighborhood Health Center. For those of you who've been inside, you could see this is a wonderful project. And it really goes back to our mission, which started 40, over 45 years ago in East Boston where the Board of Directors were formed and Dr. Jim Taylor, who I know is in the audience today, a Winthrop resident, decided it was time to make healthcare local and bring healthcare into East Boston to service not only the residents of East Boston, but also of Chelsea, Revere, and Winthrop. And today we're extending that mission with this new facility. This is our second facility actually here in Winthrop. We currently run a PACE program, a program of all-inclusive care, what we call the Elder Service Plan on Sturgis Street right here in Winthrop. But we are excited to open this new facility and begin to provide primary care as well as physical therapy and occupational therapy services with our partnership, Boston Medical Center, here locally for the town of Winthrop. This continues our strategic plan and our vision to again make healthcare local and make sure that our board of directors who are made up of residents of East Boston, Revere, and Winthrop who oversee this mission and this vision of continuing to make healthcare not only for the people but also by the people. So today we see over 4,000 residents of Winthrop and that's close to 25% of the Winthrop population. And we're hoping with this facility here, those numbers continue to grow. So later in the program, we're going to be hearing from our chief medical officer, Jackie Fantes, who will give you a description of the services that will be provided here and the project itself. But I want to make sure I give her full credit for this project, because Jackie joined us just about a year ago. And I handed this project over to her. And I said, make this happen. And look what she's done. So please give a round of applause for Jackie Fantes. So now I'd like to move right along in the program and introduce someone who really doesn't need an introduction. I didn't pull up his bio because we all know him as our great friend and our neighbor. Speaker DeLeo has always been there for the East Boston Neighborhood Health Center and for the many residents of Winthrop, East Boston, as well as the entire Commonwealth. He's been a personal friend of mine, and whenever he calls or invites me into his beautiful office, he always has three questions for me. Manny, my friend, how are you? Manny, how's the health center doing? And Manny, when are you going to open up that damn health center in Winthrop? <laughs> so i like, without further ado, introduce our friend, our neighbor, the Speaker of the House, Mr. Robert DeLeo. <laughs> He's not lying. And then he tells me what he needs after I ask that question. Well, that's the next thing we got to take care of. Manny, thank you so much for that kind introduction and being such a friend for so, so many years. And I am so pleased to be joined here today with the folks from the, um, the Health Center, uh, Boston the Medical Center, the folks at Massport, and as well as my good friend and colleague, Senator Boncori, who will be speaking um, in a little while, as well as our uh, City uh, Town Council President, uh, Bob uh, Driscoll um, as well. It's great to see him here as well and a gentleman who probably doesn't get enough credit in terms of what he does for our community but he has sort of been a, a leader in our community for decades and decades and I know that with the involvement uh, with the um, with this facility and member of the planning board Dick Dimes. Thank you very much Dick. You know, I have learned in my time in the legislature how effective and important, important partnerships can be as we strive to serve the needs of our cities and towns. So with that, I am very excited to both be celebrating both existing relationships, which continue to grow, in a new relationship, by the way, with the Boston Medical Center. Thank you very much.
I know that the BMC is fo focused on reaching out to populations that currently have to travel the ways to receive medical care. This clinic is BMC's first satellite location. I'd like to hold heartily thank them for choosing the Winter uh, East Boston area. It is my hope that other organizations will follow BMC's lead when it comes to community engagement. Massport also is a leader in that regard as well. For many years, it has listened to the residents of Winthrop and Revere in East Boston and responded in targeted, effective ways. I want to thank Tom Glenn and his team at Massport for its continued support of the community and in particular, its dedication to our children and young adults. Lastly, I'd like to thank Manny Lopes and the wonderful doctors, nurses, and clinicians at the East Boston Neighborhood Health Center. I'd also like to sincerely thank them for each year sponsoring with me the Women's Health Forum, which we hold each and every year right here at the Cummings School in Winthrop. There was a time when I thought that all of the folks who would attend that event were there to see me. But then I quickly learned it was the free flu shots provided by the East Boston Neighborhood Health that was the real draw. So I want to sincerely thank them for partnering with me each and, and every year. Your dedication and compassion has made a lasting impact on the lives of so many individuals and families in this area. Your focus on continuum of care and building relationships with your partnerships, and with your patients, I should say, is remarkable. You know, since the very time that we had the closing of the Winthrop Hospital, and some of you youngsters here probably don't even know what I'm speaking about, well, we did have a hospital here in Winthrop some, some years ago. But since that time, we have been looking at a way that we could provide quality health care for the people in our community. And it is true we have some fine physicians within the community, but nothing, nothing of the magnitude about what is opening here today. That, quite frankly, is why it is so important to the residents of Winthrop and East Boston in Revere to have a facility such as this. You know, every once in a while, well, just about every week, we have a discussion on Beacon Hill about the importance of health care and what we can do for health care and what changes have to be made, what improvements have to be made. And I have to tell you, out of all the issues that I deal with up at the State House, that is the one that makes my head spin. Every, every time I think I know something, I find out I probably know a little bit less than I thought I, I knew. But I do know this. I do know the importance of primary care being offered in the community, and therefore I know how important that this facility will be to all the communities surrounding this area. That's why this is so, so important to our community. Thank you, Manny. I'm looking forward to all of the positive effects that will result for the new clinic. And to all of you, I want to, first of all, congratulate you for your hard work, and thank you, and welcome to Winthrop. Thank you, and God bless. I would also like to welcome uh, Representative Adrian Madaro, who's just uh, come to visit us, and uh, a former board member of the East Boston Neighborhood Health Center, and want to also recognize that our board has played a very important role in making sure that this facility was not only built to the quality that it was built in, but also is available to provide the services that it needs, again, locally. So thank you, uh, Representative Madaro, for being here today. Now I'd like to introduce the newest member of the Beacon Hill crew, uh, Senator um, Boncori. Uh, the Senator and I uh, have a great relationship and we've learned to build that relationship and he's really taken an interest in us which is, you know, like any other Senator that we've had. He's In his first weeks of um, being at Beacon Hill, he came to visit us at the East Boston Neighborhood Health Center and his first question to me is, Manny, how could I help? How could I make things better? And he knew about this project, and he completely su gave his support for this project. But then he also, um, with the help of this, uh, Representative Madaro and the speaker, 
helped pass um, a budget amendment recently. There's one of our vans going by. <laughs> um, and, and help pass legislation to increase our services and begin to provide more recovery services in the community. So again, so right now, I'd like to welcome to the podium, Senator Boncori. Thank you, Manny, very much, and uh, thank you for this wonderful project. Manny and I have a wonderful relationship because he only has asked me for one thing and I was able to help with it. So we're one for one. Um, but again, nothing, as we see strategic alliances with uh, the Neighborhood Health Center and the BMC and the town of Winthrop, um, the same goes on Beacon Hill. And nothing can be done without the strategic alliances here. And that's why I want to recognize on that $250,000 budget amendment, um, my colleague, Representative Adrian Madero, who sponsored that amendment in the House. And of course, the Speaker, um, who ensures that all in, all in the state budget is taken care of, but of course has a special place in his heart for this community of Winthrop and the community of East Boston and this neighborhood health center. So thank you very much, Speaker. This is a beautiful building that will serve as a centerpiece for the entranceway to this town, and we're so happy to have it. Um, I want to just thank the, the board at the uh, East Boston Neighborhood Health Center, as well as the Boston Medical Center, for forming this alliance and coming and bringing healthcare to this town of Winthrop that's and we like as a speaker reference we've had great um, primary care physicians but we really haven't had the health uh, health care facility of this nature in quite some time um, so and I can't say speaker I do remember the Winthrop Hospital <laughs> I, I think I had an ear infection in the second grade and that was that was the last time I was there <laughs> I don't know if the representative would would, would remember <laughs> but really uh, this is a tremendous thing and it's great to see that the East Boston Neighborhood Health Center has found Winthrop. Winthrop's a tremendous community, and we're seeing, as some of the older folks in the, in, the in the audience can testify to, that so many people are now beginning to find Winthrop because of its proximity to Boston and obviously its beautiful coastline. But the same things that make um, Winthrop so admirable and a great place to live, like the waterways that surround it. Also, almost cut off access to the, to the tremendous healthcare facilities in the center of Boston. So it's wonderful to see the East Boston Neighborhood Health Center, as they have done for so long, um, under the care of another resident of Winthrop, Dr. Taylor, um, who found Winthrop a lot sooner than the rest of the facility. <laughs> But how proud Winthrop is as a, of a gentleman like Dr. Taylor, who grew a small neighborhood health center into a much larger, larger uh, footprint. And I can tell you, Dr. Taylor, you have so much to be proud of in Manny Lopes for the tremendous work that he is doing for your neighborhood health center and our neighborhood health center. So I just want to close by saying, enjoy the rest of the day, and welcome to Winthrop. Thank you so much. Thank you, Senator. Thank you, Senator. You know, I mentioned briefly about our board of directors, um, and this is what makes us unique, that the board of directors are made up of residents, patients, um, and other members that live and work in the communities that we serve. And our board of directors is led by a woman who is truly dedicated in many, many ways, not only locally, but also nationally. Rita Sorrento, our board chair, my boss, um, truly keeps us honest. She works harder than any other board member on a volunteer basis in making sure that we're, again, not only adhering to our mission, that, but that we continue to grow and meet the needs of our community. And I'd like to welcome Rita Sorrento. How, how appropriate, I think that's the uh, 1030 flight to LaGuardia going by that I introduce uh, Jose Masso, who's here for Tom Glenn uh, from Massport. You know, Massport, uh, since Tom Glenn took over, and Tom Glenn's been a dear friend for many, many years um, since his time at Partners Healthcare. And under Tom's leadership, I think we found a new neighbor in Massport, a more friendlier neighbor, a neighbor who truly is beginning to care about the needs of the community and provide resources to help address those needs. And I'm happy today to announce that with the help of Massport funding, we were able to close the gap and open our doors here with the Winthrop Neighborhood Health Center. And right now, I'd like to invite Jose Masso to the podium to say a few words. 
Thank you, Manny. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, I should say. Senator, good morning to you, Speaker. Good morning to you as well, and also Representative Madara and all the other elected officials. On behalf of Tom Glenn, I apologize that he's not here. He would have loved to have been here because this is very much who he is. I don't know how many of you know, but he's really a social worker. That's who he is as far as a person, even though he's been known for being a great manager of a number of different entities, but at, in his heart, he's a social worker. Let me do two things. Number one, some of you who know me uh, say every time you see me, you know, I've got my signature attire on, either a or a bow tie or a hat. So at this moment, let me take my hat off and bow and congratulate and thank all of you because this is a memorable day. This is an achievement of community. This is an achievement of collaboration. This is an achievement of how a health clinic, elected officials, and Massport can be good neighbors and collaborate so that we can do something that benefits everyone, and in particular, the community of Winthrop, of which we are so proud of being a neighbor too. And when I walked in and saw the footprint, I didn't realize how big it was. And I asked Manny, I said, how are you going to staff this? So I'm hoping that not only you'll have the opportunity of bringing people from the East Boston Community Health Center, but also some of the local folks to be working here, because this is going to definitely be uh, a jewel in the Winthrop community as far as healthcare is concerned. The other thing that I do want to say, I want to thank you for, is the fact that you selected this location that is sort of like sandwiched in between the Bell Isle Fish, and on this side, Adriana's Cafe and Pastry. So I know whenever I come for lunch or I come for breakfast, I can stop by here and say hello to all your good friends. But congratulations once again. It's a pleasure, and also we're honored to be part of this and honored to play a small role in making this happen. So thank you so much, Manny. Okay, now I'd like to invite the real star of the show, our Chief Medical Officer, Jackie Fantes. Like I said, Jackie joined us a year ago, and I handed over this project to her, um, and there were many challenges, including finding the appropriate site, but also making sure that the design was uh, the best design possible for the care that we're looking to deliver, and I have to say she's done an amazing job in this short period of time that she's been here. So, Jackie, welcome. Thank you, everybody. I am, I am so excited for today. Uh, when I joined the health center a year ago, I had no idea how seriously East Boston Neighborhood Health Center took neighborhood health. And today, I know. Uh, today, I really know. And I thank you, um, everybody, for being here today. Um, the, the town of Winthrop, um, our uh, the people here celebrating with us, our patients that will be here with us. Thank you for being here with us today. There are so many, so many people that I need to thank. Um, here, uh, Mr. Speaker, Senator Boncori, thank you, thank you for your support. I, uh, uh, I'm. I, listen, I can't tell you how thrilled I am to be providing primary health care. I don't know how to do any, any of this stuff. I had no idea that this is what it would look like a year later. I know how to do primary health care, um, and that's all I know how to do. Everybody else did all, all the rest of this stuff, and it's, it's going to be way cool. Um, wicked cool, as we would say in the, in, in the Northeast here. Um, and uh, and I, I do want to give a special thanks to Jim Taylor, uh, my predecessor. Uh, if he if he wouldn't have created this health center 46 years ago, I would never be standing here in front of you all. And so so thank you, Jim, very much. And of course. My fearless leader, Manny, um, uh, he, he gave me free reign when I came in here. He had no idea um, what kind of leader I would be, or, um, and, and he, he gave me free reign to uh, do some really, really nifty stuff here with our patient flow, and I think, we're, uh, I think we've done a good job, and, and thank you, Manny, for your leadership. Um, we... Uh, um, our friends at Boston Medical Center, Karen, Maddie, uh, Rabin, uh, Davidoff, uh, thank you very much for teaming up with us. Uh, one of our needed services was uh, for our health center was physical therapy, occupational therapy. Um, we went to them, we talked to them, and it took about three sentences for them to say, hey, we'll come out here with you guys support you um, with uh, the physical therapy and occupational therapy that, you, that, we, that we need for our patients. Thank you so much. We'll be providing a lot of service here. Um, we have a kind of a small footprint, but it's amazing what's gonna be happening here. 
our family medicine department uh, will be here. We're going to be providing full scope family medicine all the way from your newborn care to your geriatric care to your pregnant ladies to your uh, gynecology. We, we're going to provide it all. We're very excited. We know how to uh, do primary care really, really well. We've been practicing it for 46 years um, and we're excited to bring it here to, uh, to the town of Winthrop. Um, we have several specialties coming out here. We have our pulmonologist coming here, our endocrinologist coming here, uh, podiatrist and sports medicine physicians. We have both adult and pediatric ear, nose, and throat physicians coming. Um, gastroenterology and dermatology also. So uh, believe it or not, we're gonna we're gonna put them all inside here um, and and uh, um, uh, uh, give the excellent care that we know how to do, and we know how to do it really, really well. Um, uh, there is a, um, we, one of the things I just want to say about the design, when you take a look inside, um, we've really spent a lot of time uh, with patient flow and how to, how to do really a team-based model of care. That's the way we do primary care now. We do it as a team. We're no longer doctors, nurses, um, medical assistants. We're a team. And um, I'm very excited that we really have that flow going here um, uh, at, at the health center here. A couple of people that deserve a, 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 a really big round of applause. I want to say thank you to Kevin Wersch, our, our architect. He tolerated many, many changes. No, no, no. That wall should go over there. No, no, no. That should be orange. You know, you know, he he tolerated lots, and uh, and so we had some ideas, but he made it really, really special. Thanks, Kevin. Uh, Steve Frazier, I don't know where you're at, but uh, uh, he let he was the mastermind, really. I've, I've gotten a little credit today, and he should be the one that's gotten all this credit here. He's this is uh, this is his work. He's our VP of facilities, and is um, I call him the magic man. Um, he makes things magic. Uh, um, it was a warehouse, and now look at it today. A couple of my staff. Um, uh, Kathy Franklin, Karen Leshley, our, med uh, our, our directors of our family medicine department. They were truly the mastermind behind the team. You know, I'm taking credit for the team-based model of care. Kathy and Karen were our, our masters in getting that going, and it's, it, it, it's really amazing. And thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Adela, I don't know where you are. Um, <laughs> but um, uh, we... We've been trying to find a, 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 a nice place for our specialists um, that come over and visit us from Boston Medical Center um, and provide care on site for our patients. And Adela is in charge of those folks. And uh, we said, let's, let's bring them out to Winthrop. And five minutes later, Adela has the plans of how to get them all into our, our, our place. Uh, she's an amazing organizer and leader in our specialty department, and thank you for getting everybody out here. And then, of, our, of course, our family medicine staff, um, uh, our, our specialty staff, uh, you guys have been amazing. We've been meeting every week to figure out the best way to do care here and uh, and stocking the place, filling the place up, making it excellent. Uh, we have the best team, and I am so excited to be working with you. I'm, I get to be one of the docs out here, uh, and I, uh, I I am so excited uh, because I, I I know we have the uh, I've bought, brought in the best team with me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So it's been a long year and a year, year and a half, really, almost, um, and we've done it. And so thank you, uh, everybody, for coming out to support us. Um, and I, I'm, I'm ready to get started. I'm re ready to see patients. So, so please come visit us. Um, and then next, I, I would like to introduce uh, my great colleague, the chief medical officer from uh, uh, Boston Medical Center, uh, Dr. Ravin Davidoff. And uh, he has a couple of words to say. And we're so excited to be teaming up with BMC. Thanks, Jackie. Well, Senator Bonkori, you talked about finding Winthrop this morning. So for me, this is a journey and I got here. Thank you. But I need your help. I haven't found my office in there yet. So <laughs> if we can take a tour, it sounds like you're a magic man and the speaker can help me find my place there. So thank you. 
So I'm delighted to represent Boston Medical Center here today. Kate Walsh, our CA, uh, CEO, couldn't make it today. So I'm delighted because this is really what we both talk about, BMC and East Boston Neighborhood Health Center. It's about delivering the right care, the right care to the right patient at the right place at the right time. And this is a perfect symbiosis of how to do this right. So when one can come here and receive primary care, see specialists in the same place, and then when needed, get physical therapy, occupational therapy, it's a perfect relationship. And I think it's one that solidifies what Manny as the leader, Jim in the past, and others before, and Kate and Elaine prior to that have tried to work towards. That is that we are great partners and there's lots we can do together. And if we work out how to do it, it will be an enormous success. So we truly are proud to join you here uh, to deliver physical and occupational therapy, to give patients the trusted quality care they've come to expect from BMC, but truly closer to home. And this care is essential to our patients. People who come here will range in age and complexity from student athletes recovering from a soccer injury to older athletes who've had a hip replacement and will provide the full range of occupational and physical therapy services here tailored to the unique needs of each patient. And I think that's really what healthcare is about today. How do we deliver just what we need to do at the right time for our patients? And we truly want to do this together with East Boston. And this is magnificent. This is truly a magnificent facility. And when I saw it before as a warehouse, I could not have imagined it would turn out this way. And I think the physical structure is merely an external reflection of what will happen inside. The magic will happen inside. And we are truly happy to partner with you uh, in that space. I think today's opening also wouldn't be possible without the help and encouragement of our public representative, Speaker DeLeo, Senator Boncori, Rep uh, Representative McGarrow. We share a mission together for the vision and health of our neighborhoods. And your support as uh, representatives and leaders is fundamental to all that we do. And we thank you all for being such champions for healthcare in Boston, in Greater Boston, and in Massachusetts. We truly are leaders in the space for the nation. And I think this is a moment in time when we will be called upon to provide an example of how to lead in an integrated way and in a collaborative way. So I think the challenge is on us and we're proud to be part of this moment. Uh, and delighted to be here at the ribbon cutting. Thanks very much. As you can see, so many people to thank, and this is a truly a team effort. I just want to recognize some of the senior leaders that we have um, here today with us. Uh, I see my, our CFO, Jamie Hazard, who um, helps us count all the numbers and make sure that we can afford a project like this. Laura Wagner, as I mentioned, our elder service plan has been in Winthrop for many, many years and um, oversees our elder service program. We've already mentioned the great work Stephen Frazier as vice president of campus operation and really truly makes magic and um, getting the team to really design and build um, this facility like this. Um, Jim Hill, our Chief Technology Officer. Uh, without IT, as we all know, without the gadgets that we have in our pockets and the, and the desktops that we have, um, we really can't make it work. And many of you may not realize that we've had, um, for over uh, close to 20 years, one of the, um, the most recognized electronic medical record system in the country, EPIC. Um, so we've been running EPIC here, and again, give thanks to Jim Taylor for having the vision to say, you know, early, being early adopters in 1998 to saying we needed an electronic health record, and we're going to pick the small little company out of Madison, Wisconsin called Epic. And today we've been running it for 17 years, and there's organizations such as BMC and Partners Healthcare and others just going on to Epic. So think about that vision uh, uh, that Jim Taylor truly had and where we are today from an electronic and an automated um, health record system. So again, thank you again. Um, just looking around to make sure I haven't forgot anyone. Bob Driscoll, council president and former board member who was also instrumental in helping us uh, get this off the ground. I think we're ready to do the ribbon cutting. So thank you for your patience. I'm gonna turn it over to Steven Snyder, our vice president of marketing, who's also been a key part of this project as well. Yeah. 
Betty Boudreau, who's here today. And if you haven't noticed yet, when you go through and do a tour of the facility, amazing artwork here today. <laughs> and Betty's responsible for uh, helping us as our in-house curator. Um, selecting the right pieces and the appropriate pieces and making sure that this uh, building does reflect the community that it's serving. So thank you, Betty, for all your hard work. Davidoff, the Chief Medical Officer at Boston Medical Center. We're delighted to partner here with East Boston Neighborhood Health Center in this incredible facility. Our commitment is to deliver the right care to the right patient at the right place at the right time. And this is a perfect opportunity for us to do that and partner and provide the occupational therapy and physical therapy to the incredible facility and patients that will come here from primary care to specialty services. So we're delighted to partner specifically in this venture, but more important, delighted to partner with East Boston Neighborhood Health Center in working out how we deliver most effective care to the community at large. So thank you for the opportunity to partner with you and we look forward to many future collaborations and providing exceptional care to all our patients. the Director of uh, Rehab Services at the Boston Medical Center and we are thrilled to be able to join with the East Boston Neighborhood Health here in Winthrop. Um, here we will have a full scope of physical and occupational therapy services um, ranging in all ages from your pediatric and to your geriatric population um, and we are excited to provide care closer to home for our patients. Center for the town of Winthrop and it's so wonderful to be doing this interview from the, the newest addition, newest asset to the town of Winthrop, uh, the Neighborhood Health Center um, in conjunction with East Boston Neighborhood Health Center and, East, and the Boston Medical Center, uh, Winthrop finally um, again has a full-scale medical facility that our residents can rely on, that our elderly and our, and our youth can rely on to provide um, primary care to um, this community. It's really a tremendous asset to the town. It's a great centerpiece for the entrance of the town. And I just want to th say thank you to the boards and members and teams at East Boston Neighborhood Health Center and Boston, Boston Medical Center, along with our town council president, uh, Bob Driscoll, town manager, Jim McKenna, and the help from Speaker of the House, Bob DeLeo, for making this a reality for the town of Winter. Thank you. Well, I'm so pleased and excited to be here as we open the East Boston Neighborhood Health Center and the uh, new relationship also with the Boston uh, Medical Center uh, as well here in, the, here in Winthrop. Uh, and this is such a beautiful facility, uh, taking a look around and most importantly, it's going to be a facility that's going to provide excellent quality health care uh, to our community uh, for hopefully many, many uh, years. I can tell you, um, and you know, if you take a look at the, the, the 
town, Winthrop, in terms of what a great town it is. But if someone were to say, you know, what are we really severely lacking, I think it would be um, health care facilities. Although I do have to say that we do have some wonderful primary care uh, physicians in the community right now. Uh, but we are in need of a more of a, a clinic type of facility, and this just answers that call. So to all the folks at the Boston Neighborhood Health Center, Boston Medical Center, and all the public uh, leaders, I just want to uh, thank you sincerely for making uh, this day happen, and congratulations to all of you. I'm Jackie Fantas. Um, I am the uh, Chief Medical Officer of East Boston Neighborhood Health Center, um, uh, a family physician, and I am so excited that I'll be one of the family docs out here at, uh, at the new Winthrop Health Center. We are providing lots of care here at, uh, at Winthrop Health Center, uh, full scope family medicine, all the way from newborn uh, to geriatric care to uh, obstetrical care and gynecology care. Uh, we have lots of specialties coming out here. We have our pulmonologist coming out here, our endocrinologist coming out here, our gastroenterologist, our dermatologist, sports medicine physicians, and podiatrists. Um, we're very excited about all the, the great service that we'll uh, be providing here at Winthrop Health Center. And we have really set up the, the clinic in a team-based model of care. And we, uh, we're thrilled and invite everybody to, to come and, and join us. Thank you. Jose Maso, Director of Community Relations, Government Affairs at Massport. It's truly my pleasure and honor to be here on this Women County occasion for the Winter of Health. Um, I will tell you that when we first sat with Manny Lopes and the people from East Boston Community Health Center and Speaker DeLeo, and we meaning Tom Vinn, our CEO of Massport, to talk about the fact that we would be able to partner and be a collaborator in this initiative, we never thought that it would be what it is today. We we're impressed not only with how they're using the space, but also the amount of services that are being offered to the uh, citizens and residents of Winthrop, and also the fact that they partnered with BMC to offer the physical therapy as well. But this is truly impressive use of space, truly impressive menu of services, truly impressive uh, outcome of collaboration at the state level with Speaker DeLeo, with uh, Senator Boncori, with Representative Adrian Madaro, and also with the uh, other social service agencies, in particular the BMC, and then the small part that we have played to make it possible through our collaboration and our support. So I want to congratulate everyone, I want to thank everyone, and I'm looking forward to this continued relationship as we uh, strive to be a good neighbor, uh, not only to Winthrop, but also to East Boston and the surrounding communities. So on behalf of Massport, on behalf of Tom Glenn, our CEO, congratulations and we wish you the very best. We look forward to continuing this partnership. President and CEO of the East Boston Neighborhood Health Center, and I am so excited to introduce the Winthrop Neighborhood Health um, Center. This is our return to Winthrop, and we're so excited to be providing local primary care right here in the town of Winthrop.
this beautiful facility uh, came together by a great team. Uh, not only our elected officials who played a significant role, Speaker DeLeo, Senator Bob Corey, in helping us um, build this facility, but also the team back at East Boston Neighborhood Health Center, our Chief Medical um, Officer, Jackie Fantes, our Vice President of Campus Operations, Stephen Frazier, and many, many other people in the departments who were able to really design and construct a building that's going to be easily accessible and continue to provide the high quality care to the Winthrop uh, residents. Thank you.